So this gives you an illustration of, of how, does, how does a spaceship go from Earth to Mars. So you got blue Earth there and red Mars. I mean, the, the, the actual distance traveled on the arc is close to a, like a thousand times further than the moon. So you, you can't just go straight to Mars. You have to create this elliptical orbit with Earth at one point and Mars at the other side, at the, the far end of the ellipse. And then time, the, time the, the, where you are in that, in that ellipse to intersect with Mars. And this, so this is a, the orbital transfer. So we're looking at uh, different locations. Um, the lead candidate right now is the, the Arcadia region. When you combine all of the factors and say, okay, we, need, we can't be too close to the poles. We need to be um, near ice for, for to, get, to get water. Um, and uh, can't be too mountainous for the rockets. Um, then you, you, it narrows down to a smaller region. So the first, the first flights there we'll, we'll send with the Optimus robot. Um, so we can go out there and explore and, and kind of prepare the way for humans. And um, that'll be a very cool image if we're able to achieve it um, by launching end of next year. It would actually technically arrive in 2027, uh, but that would be uh, an epic picture to see Optimus walking around on the surface of Mars. Launching two years later, uh, we'd, we'd be sending humans, assuming the first missions are successful and they land successfully, we'd send humans on, on the next mission uh, and we really start building the infrastructure for Mars. So that, that classic picture of the workers on the Empire State. And then for communications on Mars, uh, we'll be using a version of Starlink to provide uh, internet on Mars. So it's just a sort of rough idea of what things would be like for the first city on Mars. Uh, my guess is we'll probably put the launch pads a little further away, um, or the landing pads, just in case. Until Mars is terraformed to be like Earth, um, the, you, you need to walk around with a Mars suit um, and be you know, the, initially in kind of like glass domes. Um, but it would work, um, and eventually we can make Mars into an Earth-like planet. So, yeah, anyway, this is, this is like an incredible thing to have like this amazing city on Mars, the first city on another planet, and um, a new world.